now by default the view color background color view is white so if a background color view is white then the, where the hell the gray color comes from now before we see there are some lines of code written inside the date finish launching option the first line is window now what is a window we want to see right click on window jump to definition and see it extends ui view so window is a view when i jump to definition i see view is UI respond and we know UI respond extends and as object so it's a valid so we create a window of a frame now each view should define a frame any visible component in the world has a frame so we define to the screen size resolution of the device now window is basically a backbone for your application view hierarchy now imagine a blackboard now blackboard is a view where you want to draw text you want to explain everything but a blackboard cannot rely on a space on its own it requires a support the support comes might be a wall behind it so that wall is visible component it's a view component you can write on a wall also but that becomes a support for your main view which is your blackboard so that wall is called a window so we require a window before we start implementing on start drawing on a drawing board so a support for your view hierarchy is called window but a support itself is a visible component so therefore it comes in the category of view so I create my support, say a wall. Now it's time to create a <coughs> my blackboard. Now in the MVC architecture of the iOS, each controller is assigned with one particular view. So a controller will control only one view. So the relation between a controller and view is one on one. Now why a view is given an importance where we say controller is always important. Not iOS devices are a front end devices. They need a user interface. Okay, they are not the servers, they are not the backend processors. So a view becomes also important. You cannot have an application blank out. So in the MVC architecture of the iOS device, each controller has to control one view. So the relation between a controller and a view is one-on-one. -on -one. A view can control can have relationship with n numbers of views. So the hierarchy goes controller will give view, view will have n numbers of other views. So we know we have to create a controller. So in my blackboard example, wall becomes window. The blackboard is a view, but I'm not creating that blackboard. I have to create a controller. My hand, which is gonna write the stuff on the blackboard or which can move the blackboard is a controller. So when I create my hand, automatically I have to create a blackboard. So the controller becomes the hand. So we wanna initialize the hand and so it says view controller init with nib name. I don't know what that function does. I know init means on the name of the constructor. So a controller gets created. Then you have, once you create a controller, controller has the view. You need to attach the blackboard to the window. So that means you have to tell which controller's view will be lying on the wall. So there's a property called self.window.view controller, root view control. It tells boss whose controller's views should I load first. So I say it should load self.controller. So that gets loaded. And then you earn cotton the, you remove the cotton from the window. And by saying make key invisible. If suppose you have created a wall, you have put it the blackboard and you have cotton. Will you be able to see the view? Unless you remove the cotton, unless your black wall is visible, then only your board will be visible. So when that says key make key visible, okay. Now, if you see there is a yeah has dot h for the controller dot m for this dot controller view controller dot xib. Now this xib is interface builder. Fine. Now and then you see there is a gray color screen. That's you see. So basically, in it with name name, basically configure your controller's view with the xib file. So this interface builder will help you to create your view component and you just have to align to the controller as simple right but we do not support implementing stuff on the xibs interface builder that a lot of other issue it's easier but not good for the bigger app so we want to do everything natively so so i would say i don't want to integrate my app with the interface builder so i just say in it so the control from view will gonna go to in it now this view controller if you see name that file is there inside my 
project. So I see view controller extends UI view controller. So it's a custom UI view controller. When I say jump to definition, it says UI responder. And I know UI responder extends and a subject. I go to view control dot edge. I see whether I have something called in it. No. So I want to create a default constructor because I'm calling a default constructor. So I need a control to come here. So I want to override my default constructor, which is recommended by the app. So first thing in default constructor, we always call super constructor. And then I say if self and self. So I know the control is going to come here from my app delegate and I want to change the color. So I say self is your controller. I won't be able to change my hand color. I want to change the blackboard color. So I have to change the color of the view which a controller controls. So self is my controller. It has a view as a property. View has a... Now if you see when you click, auto correction comes. Now if you see auto correction component, you come to know P stands for property. Now what type of property it is? It says UI color. So I have to pass a UI color object. Now background color is the name of the property and there's a star. When you see a star, you should understand basically it's an object to see object. So when there's a star, you have to understand it's an object to see. So if left hand side is an object, I have to provide object to see object of type UI color on the right hand side. So square bracket will come. So I say equal to I need a UI color object, so I say UI color because I have to create a UI color object. I can create UI color object using the class object of UI color and I say yellow color. And I say command S, command R. So it runs. So it compiles and runs the project. And I see yellow color coming. Wow. So I got detached the control from the XIB and got the control to my file. So now whatever I'm going to do from here, it will be controlled by my own code, which I'm going to write. So next step, next project, now I will want to shut down this. So we are done with this exercise where we have seen how the lifecycle works and how the MVC architect of the iOS application are all about. Now we're going to close the project and we're going to go on our next task.